Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. It looks like Team Jeff Horn wants a lot of money to fight Terrence Crawford. Next, stay tuned. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego in the back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chat channel donations, Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. We working. Well, well, well. Looky, looky. I've been telling y'all since the beginning of the year, and we're about to close this wonderful 2017 boxing year. I've been telling y'all since January. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Now, I made a video the other day about Team Jeff Horn, and I said they're exuding and showing fear in facing Terrence Crawford. In my honest opinion, my honest assessment from what I was hearing. You guys can check that video out. I always link to my sources. And there was an interview where Jeff Horn's promoter was basically saying Terrence Crawford needs a personality boost. He's no Conor McGregor. He doesn't know how to do interviews. He has boring interviews and he's not a big star. Woom, 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 right? To me, sounds like excuses. Jeff Horn, Terrence Crawford, good first fight for Terrence Crawford at 147. So I gave my thoughts in that particular video, rebuttaling and responding to Jeff Horn's own promoter, AKA his team. Now, the Courier Mail has an article and an interview with Jeff Horn's trainer. And what the trainer is saying is actually contradictory to what the promoter is saying. The link is in the description. Shout out to the Courier Mail. And the first paragraph of the article says, Jeff Horn is chasing a $5 million payday to defend his world welterweight title against American Terrence Crawford and will begin serious training for the bout in five weeks. Once again, Jeff Horn is chasing a $5 million payday, right? Then it says Horn's contract to fight Pacquiao on July 2nd, he was guaranteed two payments of $750,000 to defend the title if victorious, and he fulfilled that when he fought Gary Corcoran. So in his last two fights, it, it sounds like he got $750K, right? Now, Dean Lorengren, who's his promoter, I guess, I there's a they have a thing with the trainer too, and the trainer says, get the numbers right, get the fight. But the promoter's saying, I can tell you now, Jeff won't be fighting Terrence Crawford for $1 million. This is a huge fight, pitting a man who beat an 11-time world champion, Manny Pacquiao, against a fighter who is unbeaten in 32 bouts and regarded by many as the world's best boxer, pound for pound. This will be one of the biggest fights in the world in 2018. Again, the link is in the description. They said, I'm very happy to go to Las Vegas to fight Crawford. That's what Horn says. I believe I have the size and strength to beat him. I want America to see me as a boxer with a lot of heart, really entertaining style, yada, yada, yada. Again, link in the description. Now, I actually made a mistake because I thought the trainer said this, but this is actually the promoter saying it, which makes it worse because the promoter is the one that made the initial statements that I made the video about saying that Terrence Crawford is not a big star. So how do you go from saying Terrence Crawford can't sell out tickets, Crawford rebuttals in, in response to that and says, they say I'm not a big star, but they didn't even sell 6,000 tickets for the Gary Corcoran fight, ha ha ha. You know what I mean? And I did a video about that too. So how do you go from saying and telling the world that Crawford isn't a big star, he's a boring personality, he's no Conor McGregor when it comes to building fights, but then your quotes from here, you're saying, this is a huge fight. Pitting a man against someone who's regarded as the world's best boxer, pound for pound. New media is making it bad for some of you boys because no longer are the fans going to be sheep and just hear this stuff and there's no justification, no examples, no proof, no corroboration of what's being said. And to me, this is looking bad for, for Jeff Horn. The people speaking for him, his trainer and also his promoter, they're saying they're getting caught up if you really think about it. You just said Crawford is boring and he, he doesn't do numbers even though he has better numbers on ESPN than Jeff Horn versus Gary Corcoran, Corcoran, and Jeff Horn has good numbers with Pacquiao, 
that's because Pacquiao is Pacquiao. And it was a guy who was fighting on pay-per-view, right? Fighting on pay-per-view. And this was the first time anyone's been able to watch a recent Pacquiao fight non-pay-per-view. So Pacquiao's name sold that. And the proof is in the pudding is because how come when Pacquiao's name wasn't attached to the bill, the, the Gary Corcoran, Jeff Horn fight didn't do no crazy numbers. You know what I mean? Just like Gennady Golovkin. When you pair him up with Canelo, of course, because Canelo's even bigger star. So the numbers were good. But when Triple G had to foot the bill and he was the A-side versus Jacobs and Lemieux, those pay-per-view numbers weren't great. Right? So to me, this just this adds um, ammunition to what I was already saying. This proves new media right in this situation. They're saying he wants $5 million. Now, this is the this is just to add insult to injury. This is something else I notice. When certain fighters, especially fighters you do not like, right? When when there's a bias there, no one cares about how much money they make. If they don't want to make the fight, then if or if they want to get properly compensated for the fight, right? Then all of a sudden they'll say, Oh, stop making money excuses. You'll get more money if you beat him in the rematch i.e. Triple G is is loved and he's the A side fighter. So the B side, Danny Jacobs, when he wanted it, when they were negotiating for December 10th of last year to make the Triple G fight, and he was like, I understand the WBA rules is 75, 25%, but I've made more than that fighting guys like Peter Quillen. So I'm looking to get more money, especially if you want me to fight this guy named Triple G that everyone's praising and stuff like that. And then the fans said, oh, Danny Jacobs, he, he's trying to price himself out. He's trying to price himself out, right? When when they were talking about Danny Garcia or Adrian Broner fighting Manny Pacquiao and the alleged reported offer was 3 to $4 million, people said, oh, Broner should have just took that. He's ducking Pacquiao, right? So I definitely want to hear from them same people. And, and I told you, Broner has made multiple, multiple. He got a million dollars for Khabib Alec Verdiev. He got a million dollars for... Emmanuel Taylor. He got him over a million for Sean Porter. He got 1.7, almost 2 million for Marcos Maidana. You guys can research this. Just Google it, right? So to get three or four for Pacquiao, you know I me, mean? Broner is probably, he's like, what? Four million, three, four million for Pacquiao. But Jeff Horn ain't even made, from what it sounds like, he ain't never made a million dollars. So once again, it's going to be very, it's going to be very exciting to read the responses from old media and them old fans justifying Jeff Horn who's now saying for a guy that his promoter said was boring and can't sell now they're going to justify him chasing five million dollars to come to the states and fight Terrence Crawford and he Jeff Horn just said himself he says I believe I'm the stronger guy he says I believe I have the size and strength to beat him so what's the deal crazy five million it will be kind of steep you know what I mean Canelo Alvarez if I'm not mistaken got five million to fight Floyd, but he got some back end money for the distribution rights in, in in Mexico. Triple G and I think Kill Brook got around five million dollars. So Jeff Horn to get that versus Crawford, I don't know. But it, to me, it sounds like just ducking tactic. Listen, and they're looking at fighting Anthony Mundine, who's really outside of Australia, who's really as real boxing fans, who's really checking for that. They want to see a champion. I didn't even know Anthony Mundine fought at 147. All I know is when Josh Clotty fought him off of disappearing from fighting Pacquiao, he knocked Mundine down like five times, right? Charles Hatley, who lost to Jamel Charlo, beat him. So I don't even know if Mundine can even make 47. Plus, I think he's like 41 years old. And that's the fight they're chasing. I understand in Australia, maybe you can make some money. But what about legacy? And to me, you got to just examine what people are saying. And what people are putting out there and to me this proves that jeff jeff horns his call outs were full of shit you called out floyd mayweather like you really wanted to fight him and you called out keith thurman and errol spence so <laughs> you're trying to let me get this straight you called out floyd he's retired so okay we'll, we'll take him out of the equation but you also said you wanted to fight keith thurman and you wanted to fight errol spence so if you were really serious about that how are you fighting gary corcoran and now it sounds like if they can't get what they want, which is close to $5 million, higher than $1 million, then they're not trying to fight Terrence Crawford. And they want to fight Anthony Mundine. So to me, that call out of those other top level 
guys and champions, Keith Thurman Jr. and Errol Spence Jr. was full of shit because you're fighting the Gary Corkers of the world and now you have a plan B if you can't get over a million and close to five million to, to fight a guy who hasn't even fought at welterweight when you just said you had the, the size and the strength advantage to beat him. You know what I'm saying? So you can't seriously be talking about fighting Errol Spence Jr. How you want to fight him? How much you think you're going to get for him? 10 million, 7 million? It's just not looking good. And the worst part about it is Crawford is the mandatory. He's the WBO mandatory appointed by the WBO. So to my knowledge, I understand purse bids and all that. But to me, don't you have to fight him? Since he's the number one ranked guy. So I don't, I don't know what's going to happen. We'll see. I'll keep you guys updated. But it's not looking good for Jeff Horn. You, you calling out Floyd and Errol Spence and Keith Thurman. And then a guy who's never fought at welterweight that's a talent. At first, your promoter is kind of bad-mouthing him, saying he's not a star. Now he's saying it'll be one of the biggest fights in 2018. We're looking to get $5 million. Sounds like a duck to me. Let me know what you guys think. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure you smash the like button, as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego Sunday. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.